This interactive figure illustrates creating solids of revolution using the washer method by taking a region in the xy plane and rotating it around the y axis. On the left side of the interactive figure, we see a region in the xy plane bounded above by the graph of y equals 1.5 times the square root of x plus 1 and bounded below by the graph of y equals 3 sixteenths x squared plus 1. And we've graphed these regions between y equals 1 and y equals 4. If you click on point A, you can slide point A up and down the y-axis between y equals 1 and y equals 4. Notice as you drag point A, the volume element or washer in the 3D view on the right changes its size. If you click in that 3D view on the right side of the interactive figure, you can drag the view and observe the solid formed from different vantage points. If you click on the Hide Surface checkbox on the lower left side, by removing the surface from the view on the right side, we're left with just the washer. And the, the volume of that washer, or the volume element, is given in the upper left side of the interactive figure. Clicking on the slider on the left-hand side and sliding it to the right, we have a new region in the xy plane, bounded above by the graph of y equals 1.5 times the square root of x plus 1, and bounded below by the graph of y equals 0 0.75 times x plus 1. And again, these are graphed between y equals 1 and y equals 4. And as I drag point A along the y-axis, that changes the size of my washer or volume element. If you click in the 3D view on the right side of this interactive figure, we can rotate the view and observe this shape from different vantage points. And if we click on the Hide Surface checkbox on the lower left side, with the surface hidden, we can better observe the washer. And as we change point A, we can see how the washer changes size. The volume of this washer, of this washer and its volume element is given in the upper left-hand side of the interactive figure. If I click on the slider again and slide it to the right one more time, we have a new region in the xy plane bounded above by the curve y equals 0.75x plus 1 and bounded below by the curve y equals 3 sixteenths x squared plus 1. And again, this region is graphed between y equals 1 and y equals 4. And as I drag A along the y-axis, I can observe the size of my washer changing. If I click on the 3D view on the white, right and drag, I can observe the solid formed from different vantage points. If I click on the Hide Surface checkbox with the surface hidden, I can better observe the washer. And the volume of that washer is given by the volume element on the upper left side of this interactive figure.